Folks, hello and welcome to Tavern Chat. I am your host, Eric Tenkar, your bartender in the OSR, and I am going to suggest that you all go to tankarstavern.com and participate in OSR Christmas. It's a great way to be gifted. There are 12 plus 1, so 13 days of OSR Christmas giving, gifting this year, do it. Do it. Participate. All you got to do is comment. Come on. How much harder can it be? We want to make it simple for you. <clears throat> and if you're in the U.S., there's certain stuff you can get. If you're outside the U.S., we're taking care of you also. But we really want to make sure that it's a good holiday for everybody. So... Since we're talking about oh, it's our Christmas, I'm over on Enworld and gift ideas for players. Holy shit. What a fucking crock of shit. Now, I'm going to say right now, Italian, I have no idea where the fuck he lives. But if he lives in the States, he should make sure he is linking all of his... Uh, Amazon uh, I don't know affiliate links because that's all this fucking article is. All right. I again I use affiliate links. I will tell you when I use affiliate links. I will expand upon when I use affiliate links. I am vocal upon using affiliate links, whether it's for Amazon drive through Humble Bundle. Yes, it funds a lot of things that the Tavern does. But the reality is, um, I don't hide the fact. And I'm not saying that Italian hides the fact, but I, I don't know if it's obvious that these are affiliate links. So what is he showing? That you should get your players uh, in your in your RPG campaigns for Christmas, for the holidays. Healing Potion Tokens, acrylic set, $15. Now, I guess, in theory, you could buy that for the group, right, and split it up or not. I mean, I, I don't think it's even fucking worthwhile. Uh, superior Healing Potion, I mean, whatever. I, I don't think it's uh, applicable to most games that I play. It's telling you the 10D4 plus 12. What the fuck is that shit? I don't play 5E. Maybe it's part of 5E. I don't know. D&D &D slot, D &D spell slot tracker with 96 mimic wood. $18. Now, let's mention this. $18 per player. If you have five players in your group, and this is the gift you're giving everybody, you're spending 80 bucks. God bless you. But don't GMs, DMs spend enough money as it is on the game. I personally think that you are giving a gift to your players every time you're in a session. To gift them beyond that, and dig into your pocket. I, I'm not saying it's the wrong thing to do. Maybe some people have, uh, I don't know, dollars and bills digging a hole in their pockets, in which case this stuff is great. But I don't think it it's applicable to most gaming groups. And this is something you, you'd have to do with a gaming group, I would think. If I'm spending that much money on a group that I'm a part of, they better be a long-term group, not just some random group I uh, assembled at the friendly local game store. Just my opinion. Oh, the Cab Steam Portable Leather Drawstring Dice Bag. I think by definition, every dice bag is portable. I, 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 I'm sorry. I'm just wondering. So those dice don't come with it. But it's a leather dice bag which features a metal dragging signet, a belt buckle hook, and a leather drawstring that won't unravel like cheaper dice bags. Again, 
Now, here's the thing, too. If you're buying gifts for your players, you got to buy everyone a gift. And you likely have to give everybody the same gift or else people are going to wonder, well, holy... Uh, I would have liked... Uh, no, I don't think anybody wants to spell slot tracker. Never mind. I would have liked the dice bag, the leather dice bag. But instead, my fucking DM gave me fancy... <laughs> Sorry. I'm laughing at this shit. Fantasy dice, two pairs of Cthulhu Eldrick uh, socks. So, yeah, yeah, listen, if you got me fucking socks as a play, I'm playing your campaign and you thought gifting me socks was the way to go. Uh, don't take this personally. But fuck you. I'm sorry. I mean, hi, Sadie. My kitty's demanding attention. But, I mean, honestly, if you're giving socks to your players, if that's the gift that you feel a need to gift, um, I'm sorry, don't, don't gift at all. D20 bath bombs with polyhedral dice inside, $22. So... If you know a player who enjoys dice and baths, this dragon's blood bath bomb will let you bathe in the blood of your enemies if they're dragons. No, I, I don't think so. Yes. Listen, Rach loves her bath bombs. I don't think she wants to be digging dice out of her whatever. Uh, while she's in the bathtub, after the bath bomb, uh, drops dice. I mean, that's what it looks like. Maybe there aren't dice in, in the middle of this bath bomb. No, it says with dice. So you go to the bath bomb, and then as you are laying in your bath, there are dice under your ass. Well, no. No? No. No, there aren't you dice. Put that in before you get in. You put it in so you can watch it like disintegrate. So, so there'll be dice yeah. landing on you top of you. So, Rach, you're telling me that there's dice that will be landing on top of you? Or on the bottom of the bathtub, like, not where you're at. All right, Rach, Rach, you are somebody who, who uses bath bombs, yeah. so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to defer this to Rach. Do you want a bath bomb with a set of polyhedral dice that will land in your bathtub? I mean, they put little things in it all the time. All right. Do you want a D4? Now, remember, the D4... Is the fucking four sided die with the point sticking up? Well, look, it depends. Oh, I mean, you know. Yeah. It depends on the color. No, I don't know. Rachel, don't. Do you want a D four sticking into your, uh, in, in, into your, uh, into your ass? It's into your butt. Do you no, want? No, that was your not Why did it go in there? How do How do you know? Since you're letting this bath bomb disperse well, all these dice. Very small, right? So I would sit with my back against the wall and my butt against that back of the wall so I could stretch my legs out and just be able to watch the shit like disintegrate and give me the dice and you take the dice out. So, so you're saying that and you... And it's done. You get there's some nice dice in there. So you want a D20 bath bomb with polyhedral dice? I mean, I don't, but you know, somebody might. Somebody might. Somebody if if you if you want if might. you want the risk of a D twenty sticking you in the hiney, um, please go with the uh, D twenty bath bombs with all the device inside. I'm even forty two pieces glow in the what dice polyhedral dice set. Seventeen. But now I, I'm going to say this. Wait, it's glowing in the dark too. No, no, it's another one, Rich. Oh. <laughs> it's not yeah. only exploding your bathtub, but no. it's different one. Wow. Here's a glow in the dark. All over that. Shadow would be all over that. Yeah. Here's a glow, glow in the dark dice. Now here's here's what 42 pieces. Right? So that's like what? Five dice sets. And how much is it? $17 for 42 pieces. That might not be wow. bad. If you're going to cover your whole group for 17 bucks. This might be the way to do it. The dice don't look much higher quality than the uh, soap dice that we talk about with the old school dice from back in the 80s. But 
you can cover your group for seventeen dollars. That eh, might be viable. Enhance tabletop acrylic character sheet set. Do you have players who destroy their character sheets after you're erasing their hit points and rewriting them over and over? Worry no more with these acrylic character sheets for fifth edition Dungeons and Dragons, thirty dollars a pop. Let me just say, let me reiterate that. $30 a pop, five to six players in your group. You figure out the math. I probably don't need to. Simonex D&D Dice Tray. For the player who ruins every table they play on, this handsome tray features three holding areas for dice and three different faces to roll dice on. All right. 30 bucks Again. I'm sorry, folks. Don't take this the wrong way. The best gift you can give your players is a great game session. All right? The DM, the GM, as a whole, is the one that often you're hosting, right? Often you're the one that supplies many of the refreshments, the chips, because it's your, generally speaking, it's usually at the DM, GM's house. But even if you're not doing that, the GM is the one who spends all the time prepping for the game session. They are the ones, if anybody's going to be gifted, the PCs, the players can gather their funds and get a really great gift for the, for the GM. Should the players be gifted by the GM? A good Session is your gift. An enjoyable time is really priceless. This shit, again, remember, everything here is an affiliate link. Take that for what it's worth. Okay? I do use affiliate links. I use them for deal, deal of the day. I use them when there are sales. I use them to point out Amazon products. I'm not saying... I don't use them, but I don't see the point to any of this as gifts to your players, except for Michael Tresca um, getting affiliate links. And all right, I'm sorry. There are a lot of things that I can certainly say. I am happy to see what N World has been doing. This is not one of them. This really is like <sighs> sorry. Sorry, Michael. Interesting stuff, maybe to buy for myself, but to buy five or six of each for my players. Except for the glowing glowing dark dice that don't look that all that great in the first place. Yeah, no. And again, my players already have dice. I'm quite sure of that. So, folks, we are in the midst of the world of COVID. What does that mean? It means use your common sense. Seriously. Use your common sense to keep yourself, your family, your friends, your loved ones healthy and safe. Be safe. Be well. God bless. Roll those dice. And God willing, I will be back again tomorrow with Talking Crit with Bad Mike and a special guest tomorrow, 8 p.m. Eastern. That's Wednesday, December 8th. I look at my watch. Forgive me. All right, folks. On that note, I'm out of here. Laters. <laughs>